Grounds of McGee College were the setting for last night's triple murder attack by IRA killers. First, they shot dead a 62-year-old civilian leaving the college after a class. And then they set off a bomb some 50 minutes later as police officers began their murder inquiries into the first incident. Two detectives were killed instantly in the blast. At a few minutes before nine o'clock, I heard a few shots, about four or five shots. Um, we just continued on with the lecture. We left about 20 minutes to half an hour later and I was getting into the car at the entrance of the college when the explosion went off at that stage. Um, there was glass all over the place. I think there was a few policemen hurt and we were just told to leave the, the college. Well, what words do you use to describe uh, people who, uh, first of all, choose a university campus, carry out a cowardly and brutal murder, and then use the body of the person that they have so cruelly and brutally murdered to lure two other people to their death and brutally murder them too in a similarly cowardly fashion? I think it's just uh, utterly disgusting. Uh, I think that it would have the unequivocal condemnation and horrify this community as a whole. The words would fail me on how to describe this terrible atrocity. Here we had one person going about his lawful business and two of my own colleagues uh, going about their lawful duty, uh, tragically killed by fiendish murderers. Today the IRA admitted that they'd been responsible for the carnage at McGee College. The civilian they murdered was Leslie Jarvis, a married man with one daughter who now lives in America. Mr. Jarvis taught prisoners at McGilligan Jail, a job he'd undertaken after being made redundant from a local factory two years ago. Last night, Mr. Jarvis was attending classes on a part-time degree course. After killing Mr. Jarvis, the IRA gang then attached a bomb to their victim's car, apparently using a timing mechanism. Two police officers had approached the car once and retreated when the bomb exploded without warning 50 minutes after the RUC had received reports about the shooting. The two officers were standing between the car and the university building when they took the full force of the blast. Those who died were Detective Inspector Austin Wilson, a married man with two children who'd been commended 30 times for bravery and outstanding police work. The other victim was Detective Sergeant John Benison, married with a 15-year-old daughter. Sergeant Benison was from Bristol. He joined the RUC six years ago. The hunt for the IRA killer gang is underway, and in view of last night's triple murder, the security forces will be reviewing security procedures. The Secretary of State, Tom King, has described the murders as among the foulest acts ever carried out by the IRA, and he said the morale of the RUC would not be undermined by what he called this most appalling outrage. Mr King gave his reaction to our political correspondent, Dennis Murray. Well, the reaction of, I think, everybody in Northern Ireland, a sense of absolute horror and outrage at the carelessness, I think, of all the attacks with the brutal killing, first of all, of a civilian and then using his body effectively as a bait to, for the murder of two policemen, I think is the most appalling outrage and one which all decent people will show. I think both the sense of horror at the outrage itself and obviously the deepest sympathy for the families, the uh, widows and the children of the people concerned. Would an attack like this have any impact on security policy? I mean, what we have seen is the determination of the security forces to stand against it. I note that only last night a large bomb was defused in the efforts of the security forces, which obviously could have brought great suffering if it had not been effectively tackled. We have had a number of successes recently by the security forces, a number of arrests, a number of discoveries of arms, but the tragedy is the viciousness of the IRA, that their determination, there can always be incidents such as this when uh, a tragedy will occur. With two more policemen killed in the execution of their duty, this must affect RUC morale. I have nothing but admiration for the courage and dedication of the RUC. They've had to face uh, appalling outrages and attacks on them. They know they're in the front line. They know that uh, the terrorists particularly wish to undermine their morale. And all my contacts or my visits to RUC stations, whether on the border, whether in Londonderry, whether in uh, Belfast or other threatened areas, I have nothing but admiration for the courage and determination. They won't shake the morale of the RUC. 
There's been more condemnation today of the murders, but the DUP leader has also attacked the government. Ian Paisley says the expression of sympathy by Northern Ireland ministers is hypocritical. He claims it was their policies that brought about the atrocities. And Frank Miller of the Ulster Unionists has called for protests to mark the funerals of those killed by the IRA last night. The Foreign Affairs Minister of the Republic, Brian Lenhan, says he was horrified at such callous murder. And the Association of University Teachers at the University of Ulster say... They are outraged that once again a college campus has been used to perpetrate acts of violence. In a separate incident in Derry last night, a van containing £300 of explosives was intercepted by the security forces. The police say they believe those were intended for a major bombing blitz on the city today. The van, loaded with the bomb-making material, was stopped at the police checkpoint at the Culmore Road. It was on its way from Donegal. The RUC say the explosives were found because of what they called excellent work by the security forces. The driver of the van ran off when it was stopped at the checkpoint.